Here's a couple of tips to increase productivity when working with assemblies in Solid Edge with synchronous technology. If I want to bring a part into my assembly and let's say I'm not in the right directory, a very quick way to get to the directory in which the assembly resides is just click anywhere in the white in your parts library and hold control and period and that's going to jump you right to the assembly in which the um, right to the directory rather in which the assembly resides. Now if I drag any of these parts or sub-assemblies into my working area I'm going to be immediately prompted to build 3D relationships to define where it should sit in space. Maybe instead I want to work with this assembly as if I'm at a workbench. Maybe I want to lay all my parts out in front of me first and then start to assemble them. And you can do that just by holding down shift as you drag a part into the 3D space. That's going to position the part or sub-assembly and allow you to go back and grab more. You can just drop them anywhere in 3D. Another thing a lot of people don't know is that if you have a window open, you can drag a part from a window right across your desktop into the space to add it to the assembly. And those, um, that shortcut we talked about also works. Another cool um, keyboard shortcut when you're positioning parts or sub-assemblies is holding down control. What this does is this will snap the part to the zero origin of the assembly without you having to make any more relationships. This is very useful if you know that the part is situated relative to its own um, coordinate system in the same area you'd like it to be in the assembly. I'm going to start um, adding in some assembly relationships here. Let's go over to this one first. Now if I click assemble I'm going to be in flash fault as my default relation or flash fit as the default relationship type. That's very handy because it'll build the relationships based on the features you select. Something a lot of people may not know is that if you click on a face in flash fit and just hold down your cursor, you can move that around in 3D. If you do that holding down control, you can rotate that in 3D. This is a very handy way of getting the right orientation before you build that assembly relationship. Now if I pick up on a circular edge in flash fit, this is just the, the outer edge of a, of a cylinder, for example, and I select another circular edge as my mating face, it's going to automatically create um, a, an insert relationship. This is like putting a bolt in a hole. So let's pick up on that there. I'll grab that edge there, and then just maneuvering around here, I'll pick up on this edge as my mating target. And that's going to go in and position that in there. Now notice if it doesn't put it in the right way, this is like putting a bolt in a hole. If it doesn't put it in the right way, just hit tab and that'll flip the orientation around. So if we go into my uh, library here, you can see that this indicates that it's fully constrained because it's created um, two relationships to define its position in 3D space. I'm going to unlock the rotation on this relationship because I want to show you that using drag component, will let you move a part around based on its degrees of freedom that it has remaining in your assembly. So if I grab this, this drag component is going to let me move this ar along where I've mounted it, where it's got that axial relationship. And I can sort of accurately position it, you know, maybe I want it to be there. A really intuitive and precise way to move parts around in 3D is using uh, the synchronous steering wheel. If I pick up on a part, you see I get the steering wheel, and I can use these arrows to move this part around in 3D, and you can see that I can actually key in distances to move it, or I can just eyeball it. I can even snap to features on other parts to correctly position that. I can move my steering wheel around too, such that to define my control point. So I'm going to position it on the center axis uh, of this feature here. And then if I click on this middle part, I can move that around in a plane so that I can correctly position it right where it needs to be. Another thing that's neat uh, about the synchronous steering wheel is I can click on this torus on the outside to define an angular movement. So I can kind of maybe eyeball that around and drop it to where I want it to be. So using a combination of these techniques is a really quick way to build assemblies. If you can start by uh, assembling it using flash fit and very quickly define those assembly relationships, hit tab if it's not in the right spot, and then maybe use that steering wheel to position it at the end. For more tips and tricks, visit www.edgecanada.ca.